Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, June 7th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker and global brand publisher. He's founder, executive director of Global Hope India and CEO of Spirit Media. Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses and non-profits throughout the world. Before starting today's episode, Kevin asked me to make sure you've heard about The Writers Club with Kevin White. Kevin just finished writing his third book in three years. He can help you write your first or next book. The Writers Club with Kevin White is a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Learn more at spiritmedia.us. That's spiritmedia.us. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsala Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Live in the Dream Show. I am Pastor Kevin. It is June the 7th, 2022. I hope you're doing well. We have our co-host here, Tensela. How are you? Hey, good. How are you, Kevin? I'm doing well. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see us waving at you right now. We're so excited for today's episode. If you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard, thank you for being in the audience. You're part of 166 different countries that listen in. And we are sobered and honored by that. We give all the glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we really believe that God has a specific word for you today. We champion on the show, Revelation 7, 9 through 12, that vision of John that we see there of Jesus on the throne in heaven, but surrounded the throne are people from different languages, different tribes, different nations, and they're all one. There's no gun violence. There's no mass shootings. There's no hatred. There's no quarreling. There is unity there. And Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer to pray that let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we don't want to wait until we get to heaven to get comfortable with other nationalities. That's living the dream. And we call you and everyone in the audience ourselves to live this dream. Let it be on earth as it is in heaven. Let there be unity and harmony and the focus on Jesus and the love for people of different skin colors. Let's not be threatened and intimidated and fearful and worried about different heritages. Today's verse is really going to give us a chance to really dive into that. So Tim Sala, we're going to look at John. So why don't you introduce us to today's verse? Today's verse, Kevin, it's John chapter 14, verse 27. Mm. And I think for the next couple of weeks, we will just study in depth, you know, small uh, section of uh, this particular verse, because it has so much to give for every one of us. And so this is what the word of God says in John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace, I leave with you. And that's what Jesus is saying. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be, neither let it be afraid. And that's what the word of God says. That's what Jesus is offering to each one of us. And so maybe for the next couple of weeks, we can be breaking it into small section. And then, as I mentioned before, we can uh, discuss generally like how th- is peace a uh, relative word and what is Jesus talking about when we think about peace I leave with you what kind of peace is he talking about mm-hmm. so we can be discussing some of that today yeah yeah there's a lot of good words even in this one verse there's the word peace there's the word I Jesus speaking um, there we're going to dive into that what What is the significance? Because sometimes we separate peace from God, and yet peace is God. God is peace. Peace. Uh, It even we even learn that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and so Mm -hmm. we'll come back to that. But another word is give, 
And sometimes we're looking for peace in all the wrong places and we try to buy peace. Every person buying drugs today is looking for peace or buying alcohol or buying sex. And sometimes we it's just buying ice cream. It, it doesn't have to be something that we would uh, consider immorality. We even call it comfort food. We eat at times looking for peace and we sleep looking for peace and and we lay down on our sofa looking for peace. But but it says give. It's it's a gift from God. How do we take this gift? We're going to dive into that. And then mm. trouble and the word afraid. And there's other words there, but I want us just to look for a moment. We're going to get to peace. But as we think about foreigners, as we think about people of other passport holders, the commonality that we can have is that every one of us is looking for an escape from trouble. Every one of us are tempted to be afraid. That's fear and trouble is not a uh, is not a black man or a tan woman or a white man's issue. It's an everyone issue. One of the things we champion on the show is that God is allowing there to be a melting of these nationalities where even still today, after the pandemic and COVID-19, we still have neighborhoods all across the USA and you'll find them in Germany, you'll find them in India, you'll find them in Africa, where there are people in our neighborhoods all over the world that were not born there. They don't have the same passport as us. They don't come from the same heritage. They have a different dialect, a different language, mother tongue, a, mm. a different skin color. But the commonality of it all is every one of us face troubles. Every one of us gets afraid. Um, anxiety is at an all-time high. Mental health is not just a USA issue. It's not a crisis only in the USA. Mental health is a crisis in Australia and in Canada and Mexico and Colombia, Colombia and Nepal and all over the world. And, yes. and so Jesus is addressing today's issues. This wasn't just ancient words 2000 years ago. It is meant for June the 7th, 2022. And he starts out with the word peace. Jesus says, mm -hmm. peace, I leave with you. What comes to mind, Tim Silla, as you hear our Savior saying that? Uh, for me, this is a word that I have been, you know, thinking about and meditating and peace is, you know, what does really Jesus is talking about when it comes to peace? And, you know, I was thinking, what is this peace that Jesus is offering? You know, what kind of peace is this? And what is this peace that the world offers? And, you know, it's, because Jesus is making a very uh, clear contrast between what is the peace that he is offering against what is the peace that the world is offering. And as I was thinking and about chewing on this word, I, you know, the picture that came to my mind was the peace that the world offers is something that I have to go and then purchase. There is a sacrifice involved with that from my side. But the peace that Christ offers is a price that's already been paid. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not something that I have to sacrifice. It's already been paid for. Mm -hmm. It's a free gift that's been offered to me. Mm -hmm. And a peace that Jesus is offering personally to me, it's not an absence of conflicts. Many times we think that when we, that's what the world says is that if you are thinking about peace, then there is has to be an absence of conflicts. That's how we understand peace. But the peace that Jesus is talking about is not an absence of conflicts, but it, it's more of you know having that inner peace. It's a peace that comes from within, and it can be it's a peace, you know, a confidence. It's an assurance in any circumstances. It doesn't matter whatever circumstances you are in. Mm -hmm. Christ's peace. And it can be attained only through the Holy Spirit. And so mm -hmm. it's like we don't need to fear about anything because Christ is offering this peace. 
And it's not something that you can purchase. It's not something that you have to sacrifice. It's something that you can receive. So it's not, um, it's not about an absence of conflicts, but it's more of in whatever situation you are in, mm -hmm. this is a peace that Jesus is offering, that his peace will be upon us. And it's something that is inside. It's something that comes out from inside to outside. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I think about peace, it's not an absence of conflicts because that's what we think, peace. Okay, there is no conflict, so there's peace. But mm -hmm. that's not all it's about. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's, that's how I'm understanding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so many things going on in my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's good. I want to share Isaiah nine verse six because it really helps us to understand what Thimsala, uh is just verbalizing there of what is peace, and maybe the better question is who is peace. peace. And so Isaiah nine six: For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. peace. Prince of Peace. And as she was just saying, peace is not the absence of problems. It's not the absence of trouble. It's not the absence of, of bills to pay. It's not the absence of bad diagnosis. Peace is the presence of God in the midst of bad diagnosis, in the midst of bills that you've got to pay. As a grandfather, my granddaughter is now almost two and a half years old. And I have learned even recently from her the power of presence. Uh, there are times that she wants you to be with her while she's fallen asleep. It comforts her to know that she calls me Poppy, that, that I am still with her. And many times I will try to get up thinking that she is already asleep and she will sit up and say, Poppy, and she's saying, are you still with me? Mm -hmm. And obviously we can understand the power of human presence. If we're married, we enjoy the presence of our spouse. If we're parents, we enjoy the presence of our children. And if we have friends, we enjoy the presence of our friends. And unfortunately, in human terms, parents can come and go. Uh, siblings can come and go. Friends can come and go. But whenever it comes to God, he has entered himself into a covenant relationship with us to stay in our boat, to stay in our life, to be mm. an ever present help in time of trouble, scripture says. And and so sometimes we're guilty because we want everything else to, to give us peace except for the presence of God. Mm. And the last thing I just want to say about presence is when we are talking about friends of other passports and other nationalities, the one gift that we could offer anyone that would really bring value to their life, peace to their life is the presence of God. We need to be willing to express the love of Christ tangibly, give them food if they're hungry, give them clothing if they need clothes, provide transportation for them if they need transportation. But we can continue to give them a sense of value for the presence of God. But you can't give something that you're not receiving yourself. And so before we close out the episode, I just want to ask you, have you valued the presence of God as much as he values his presence? Jesus says in John 14, verse 27, Jesus says, peace, I leave with you. And what Jesus is saying is that he leaves himself with us. He leaves his presence with us. So his remedy for peace is not a pill bottle. His remedy for peace is not ice cream, nothing mm. wrong with ice cream and nothing wrong with prescription meds, but his remedy is his presence. And for the life of me, 
And I really believe for each and every one of us, that's one of the hardest things for us to agree with God on because of our brokenness as a result of the fall of Adam and Eve in the garden. Now we have to choose his presence. It's no longer automatic. Before they sinned, the presence of God was with them automatically. They didn't have to choose to be in the presence of God. Now we have to choose as a result of sin. The presence of God is now a choice, and it's one of the last choices that we'll make. One of the last things we'll choose for present, I'm, I'm sorry, for peace is going, mm-hmm. it can be the presence of God. And so mm-hmm. as a result of the episode, when we hear those, those first five words, peace, I leave with you, mm-hmm. I want you to consider choosing the presence of God first for the need of peace in your life. We're going to talk about it more next week. So we'll see you next week on the Live in the Dream Show. God bless you all. God bless you. Three billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Just how many is three billion people? It takes one second to say hello to one person. If you wanted to greet three billion people, it would take you 100 years of saying hello nonstop. Global Hope India has been empowering local churches throughout India to provide access to Jesus to the one billion unreached souls in India. You can make a difference now at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Don't forget to visit spiritmedia.us for the Writers Club with Kevin White a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Visit spiritmedia.us today. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Kevin's books, Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point, are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, and everywhere books are sold. Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White.